in this video we will talk about column wise traversal of a 2D matrix. We will also discuss that how column wise traversal is different from row wise traversal. So let's get started. Now this image shows both the, uh, the traversals. So the first one is the row wise traversal. What is happening here is that we first pick the first row and traverse through all the columns in it. So if you look at the first traversal way, the row is constant, that is one, and the column is changing from one, two, and three. Then after the, the column has ended, we move to the next row, that is the row number becomes two, and then we again traverse the entire column for the row number two. After that, when we reach the end, we go to the third row and traverse for all the columns inside the third row. So this is how a, a row wise traversal happens. So this means that for each particular row, we traverse the entire columns in, in row wise traversal. So now if you look at the second image, that is the, the blue shade image, you will see the column wise traversal happening. So what ha is happening in this image is that here the column number is fixed, that is one, and the rows are getting changed from one, two, and three. So this means that for each particular column, we are traversing the entire rows. After the first column is completed, we move to the second column and again traverse all the rows that are present in that particular column. Then we move to the third column and traverse the entire, entire row for that particular column as well. So this is how both these traversals are different. So if you want to find out that how we will apply the loops for, for both of these. So what happens in a nested loop is that for every change in a single value of outer loop, the inner loop runs completely. So let's say if the outer loop changes from one to two, the inner loop will run entirely, be it from zero to 10, zero to 15, or the entire values that the inner loop is having. So this concept we will use in our traversals. So if we talk about row wise, we want the entire column to be traversed for a single particular row. So what we have to do is if we keep our row as the outer loop and column as the inner loop, so for every change in a row, we will traverse the entire column. And this is what we want in a row wise traversal. Similarly, if I talk about my column wise traversal, we want the entire row to be traversed for each column. So in this case, if I keep the column as the outer loop and the row as the inner loop, so for each change in a column value, we will traverse the entire row. And this is what we want in our column wise traversals. So let's look at these implementation for both of them. So first quickly showing the row wise implementation. This is we are declaring a 2D matrix, right? And let I be the, the current row number storing value and J be the current um, column number storing value, right? So the outer loop will be for the row because we want the entire column to be traversed for a single row. And the inner loop will be for column since J refers to the current column number. So inner loop is of J. And inside it, we will just print our, our value. After that, we'll print uh, another system dot out dot print of empty empty line this this is because for after each ending of one row or one column we want to move to the next row right and this is the implementation of a row wise traversal of a 2d matrix so now moving on to the column wise traversal of a 2d matrix there are very slight changes in it uh, we take the array as same as the previous one right here now j will refer to the current row number and i will refer to the current column number why are we doing this because we want that our each column number should should execute the entire row right so now the outer loop will be for i because i is now pointing to the column number right and it will go till m because m is the number of columns that we are having Co correct moving on the inner loop will be of j because in our column wise traversal we want the entire row to be traversed for each column value each column value comes from ith loop and each entire the entire row comes from the jth loop Inside this, we will just print the similar things. And this is how we will traverse in a 2D, mat uh, 2D matrix in column wise fashion. So both of them are pretty similar, but if you are clear with both these topics, you will actually be strengthening your loops concept as well. So I hope you like the video. I hope these concepts are clear. Coming forward in the next videos, you will find more questions on 2D matrix. So stay tuned and add more festoons into your knowledge garland. Until then, please keep subscribing. Thank you.